Hello everyone, I am Pablo Vlasquez and today I'm going to guide you through the new features uh, of the upcoming release that we will be going out the 2nd of June of Frenetic Online. Uh, probably one of the most anticipated uh, features is the circuit simulator. So now we will go to it and see some of the new, of the new features we have in here. Uh, first of all, we have some predefined topologies like a DC DC dual active bridge converter, DC DC LLC converter, and this is our topologies that could be used, uh, our templates that could be used as a first part of the of our project. But we can also create new projects. So if we create a new project, a blank project, um, we can have some transformers, for example, some switches. Uh, some sources or semiconductors, whatever you need to. But for today, we are going to stick to a, a template. We will use the DC DC dual active bridge converter, um, where you can click on each component and see its properties and the scopes that we will be showing later. Uh, these scopes, for seeing them, we need to simulate it. So we will click in here and simulate, simulation complete. And now we can click here in other scope and watch all the all the, all the sig signals we've got in here. So for example, I'm gonna show you the current out current and the I2 current, for example. And here we can do uh, some zoom and see in detail everything. So. The most important thing of this circuit simulator is that we can export the waveforms of this transformer into a CSV file in a format supported by Frenetic Online. So we can click in here, export Frenetic Magnetic Waveforms, and it is exported directly in a Frenetic in a frenetic template as a frenetic template so now i will go to the frenetic uh, platform again and show you on a predefined model uh, how to upload this csv file so now here i am in the frenetic platform again uh, now we're gonna upload this csv file uh, to to use this waveform the waveform we've extracted from the circuit simulator to uh, get some suggestions and start our design. So first of all, I'm gonna introduce some of the values of our L, uh, dual active bridge. So the magnetic, seven, and we can upload now the CSV file that we have in here. Now, as we can see, we have here the waveform uh, that we got on the on the Simba simulation, and we could suggest uh, run the simulation and have suggest designs in base of uh, on our waveform created on on the circuit simulator.